Hey all, Rob here. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when future videos are out. And in this post with some images going to be along with this video, it's going to be showing some of the figures from Operation Monster Force, which will be a 112 or about a 6 inch scale action figure, new line, made in part by the Big Bad Toy Store and also Fresh Monkey Fiction. And that last group has been making usually 4 inch action figures for quite a number of years. So they know what they're doing as a company. But don't forget this is what you'd be classify as a small independent company. It's not a billion dollar company like Hasbro or Mattel or whatever McFarlane makes. So when you're an independent third party company you have to charge more for your action figures because you know you don't have the resources or the finances of the big companies and what I'm showing for these figures which is thirty six ninety nine so thirty seven bucks with tax it's probably close to forty dollars a figure this stuff this new line that I'm going to be showing here it looks impressive the theme is supernatural, it's horror, it's Dracula. So it's basically monsters, but they're in uh most figures are in this military type uniform gear. And what the first thing that stood out and was impressive is all of the accessories these figures have. They have multiple hand swaps, weapons, gear that you could put on like backpacks side holsters different face masks it's a whole lot of little parts that most of the figures have and from what i've seen here it's funny unfortunately dracula seems to come with the least amount of parts he only has six other hands a sword and an alternate head but some of these other military troopers, they come with two different head sculpts, a face mask pot, holsters on the side, extra weapons, a knife, extra hands, a backpack, all of this other stuff. Making Dracula the least valuable of the line in terms of extras. But when I'm looking at these figures, right, it says over 20 points of articulation, 112 scale, variety of weapons and accessories. It's like, man, one of the first things I thought is, when I saw all the accessories, all the extra parts, I'm like, that's impressive. You know, that is a lot of extras some of these, most of these figures are having. And for the price point, again, because I compare a lot of stuff on this channel with the biggest line I've collected is the Marvel Legends line, you know, with hundreds of figures. You know, that to me is the standard. And, but with their raised prices of essentially $25 a figure, and in many cases it seems to be a bit more. Like some of these specials might be $27.99 or $29.99. So... You figure $25 is the average, but it seems to be a little higher in some areas per figure. For essentially $12 or more, you look at all of the extra accessories, all of the extra parts. You can mix and match even. And I'm like, in terms of cost versus value, I think this is a pretty good deal for what you're getting. And it shows how much the Marvel Legends standard to me has become lazy. To me it has become very resting 
on previous accomplishments and not trying to strive for more in many cases. I mean, compare the number of accessories and extras you have with this monster force line to a Marvel Legends figure. For the amount of accessories you see here, Hasbro would be charging you a deluxe package, like the War Machine that was deluxe, to give you that amount of extra parts. And so, the, so their deluxe stuff would either be, in today's price range, it used to be like thirty, probably thirty-five or forty dollars, which wouldn't be unheard of. So again, I factor that in. I look at the Monster Force, all of the accessories. And then I know that if Hasbro had done that, they would be charging deluxe prices. So their $25 figure is probably $30 or $35 now, making it almost the same price. And it's like I said, you know, between McFarlane giving you a better value, 7-inch scale, and cheaper, a $20 range, between Mattel with their Masterverse He-Man line, and you could get that stuff on sale, 20 or $30 range, 7-inch scale. And I bought a lot of the figures in the $20 range or cheaper. So you got to wait for a sale. Again, they're better value. You got NECA, even though they cost more and it's a little higher, like a 7-inch scale. They're still giving you a lot of value, especially on the good figures they make. And now this new company, which is the Big Bad Workshop, and this Operation Monster Force. And this is the first series. They're going to definitely make more, you could tell. This is another company that looks to be giving you better value than Marvel Legends in terms of cost versus value of what you're getting. To me, it shows... First, I'll be interested in checking these figures out. Plan to get a few when they're, when they're out. But they will be out way into winter of next year. And in a way, it's good because there's so much stuff planning to get or trying to sort through finances that I don't want any new action figure lines right now. So if you have to wait on it, I'm cool with that, you know, just put it out there, but not right now. But the figure line from what I'm seeing of these eight figures for a new company line, it looks impressive. It looks like a good value. And like I said, you know, as I was making this video, I realized that if Hasbro gave you this amount of accessories, they would call it a deluxe class figure and charge you probably $10 more, so it would be equal in price. But I just think this is a better value. You know, when you factor in, and in also, it is a third-party company, and they have to charge more because you're not like a billion-dollar company like Hasbro. You don't have the resources. So what they're putting out there for a small company and their resources and the value they're giving you is a higher quality value than... Hasbro, which has become lazy with Marvel Legends. And it's like other companies are passing them by. McFarlane Toys, Mattel, NECA, and now this Big Bad work Workshop collaboration. It's like the Marvel used to be the standard, and you used to be the top of the game, in my opinion, for value versus what you paid and that's what we're talking about and even the other Hasbro brands like G.I. Joe Classified and Star Wars in many cases are giving you better value on their new figures than the Hasbro Marvel line it's like they're getting left behind by endless repaints of cutting corners of reusing parts all the time instead of being and trying to be innovative again they have become 
relaxed and they're not striving as much there they are going the same old routine not wanting to experiment much and change things up they're just coasting along while other companies are becoming more innovative and more better value from their initial offering I think it looks impressive it looks very interesting to see how this line is going to do with collectors and I think it's going to be successful especially if they follow up with the series two and mention it before series one is out you know if they get things rolling where there's not going to be such a big delay between series one and series two I guess we'll see how it goes but I think this definitely has good potential and is showing you that even though the six inch scale was once innovated by Marvel Legends and Hasbro and originally Toy Biz that other companies have caught up other companies have and are taking it to another level and Hasbro is not being as innovative and because of that they're getting left behind for the higher prices you're charging, you should be experimenting more and trying to earn the money of the buyers more than to be taking a step back, is how I view it. So that's it. You know, this Operation Monster Force looks impressive. I think it's going to do well. I think it definitely is interesting. And I think it's a good value overall. And we'll see how it does. So... That's the video. Thoughts about this new action figure line. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Hit the notification bell so you know when future videos are out. Stay safe, my friends, and I'll talk to you later.